Okay. It's a little close. What do you mean it's a little close? It's the whole point. I want you to enter my mind. Plane, air, sky, soaring through the heavens, coming to an uninhabited island full of volcanoes. I think we should be careful about the volcano thing because what if some big disaster happens like the day that you put the video up and people get hurt? There's no such thing as volcanoes. I don't know if that's any better. I think maybe we should start over. I want you to enter my mind. It's so full of thought and vim and vigor. I had a whole volcano thing to go with What am this. I wrong? <laughs> okay, I, I really want to do the enter my mind thing. They're now two layers deep into my mind and they're about to go a third layer in. All right, inception yourself. You're trapped in my mind forever. It's a moment is stretched to eternity here, <laughs> and that's just how it is. I bought a bunch of candy from Iceland, and I brought it here with the express purpose of doing this, which is a review of their candy. Now, I'm not 100% sure if all this is authentic. I asked the person there if it was authentic Iceland candy, but at the same time, our, our guide wasn't from Iceland either, and I don't know if it's real. So anyone from Iceland, and even those who saw me in Iceland while I was there, hello again. If you betray me on this, if you betray me, you will never escape the maze of my mind. You will never, you will never, ever escape. I just feel like that intro is unusable. What, what, Lixian is amazing. You got this, right, Lexian? Lexian, you can you can make this good, right? And short and quick, because you know, retention time, am I right? <laughs> Lexian? Wait, where are you going? I am Mark, and I am here to review some candy. There is nothing else to this video, and there's nothing you need to worry about. This candy is from Iceland. I don't know. I, I, I was thrown off. Should I? But I, I don't want to start over because Lixing's probably already put work into this. And stop. <laughs> How's my hair? I can't see it. <laughs> Didn't you miss doing these? Huh? Didn't you miss doing these? I think we're just having practice. I'm doing great. First candy. It's whoa. Zola Coat Tour. Jola Couture. It's not as appealing as I thought it would be. Oh, that's much better. It looks like a Rice Krispie bar with chocolate on top of it, which probably has caramel in it. That's not bad. I like that a lot. The question on my mind is, is this authentic Icelandic candy? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a board on here. If I think it actually is from Iceland and true to Iceland and has Icelandic roots, which I went to a museum and I didn't see a single piece of candy in that museum, but it's pretty good. It tastes like a Twix bar that has the caramel in the center underneath the crispy. So there's like this crispy layer, chocolate with Rice Krispies on the outside. So it's got a double crunch feel to it. It's actually very good. I liked it a lot. Uh, I give it a um, an eight, and I think that it is Does Iceland have cats? I didn't see a single cat when I was in Iceland. Based off that, and because there's a cat on the package, I'm gonna guess that this is not actually Icelandic. Next piece of candy. Oh, Hjard. Hjart Lagutu Got Fran Grana. Candy from Grandma is probably what that means because it looks like the kind of candy that Grandma keeps in a dish. Not my Grandma. My Grandma is Korean. Not a lick of protein, but it's got licorice or it's licorice flavor. I'm willing to bet that this is probably authentic. Mm. 
So, as you can see by the colors, there's two flavors going on here. And that's why my expressions were shifting so rapidly. There's raspberry and licorice. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of licorice. I like it. I don't love it. And Franson Confectory sure sounds Icelandic. And given the fact that this flavor palette is slightly unique, not that Icelandic dishes were all that strange. I know they have certain dishes like a, a, a lamb's head and, and various other things, but I'm willing to bet that this is actually Iceland. Is that the Swedish flag? Uh-oh. Is that the Swedish flag? <laughs> I don't know my flags well enough to confirm or deny that. But maybe it's not. But I already said my decision, so that's going in the Icelandic pile. I don't like it. Five, four, and a half. Can I just... I'll eat it. Next. Trittler. Julad got Veja Laga Avax Talo. All right, so yeah, it, it's little people. The, oh my God, did you get the art? Are you seeing that? That's terrifying. Like the red one there, just the face. So a lot of, uh, from what I understand, a lot of Icelandic history is a little bit dark. You know, a lot of dark fairy tales for children are uh, full of death and despair and dismay and, you know, you're not gonna make it past six kind of a language in there. Um, so this kind of fits and I would believe that this is uh, authentic, but I'll let the candy I'll let the candy speak for itself. Oh my God, that is so scary. That is a monster. That's so scary. Mm. It's different than I was expecting. I was expecting something sweeter. It's not as sweet as candy as a gummy you would expect because I think a gummy like in America is basically just sugar that's been jellified. This is, uh, well, that was a red one. It definitely has more lemon in it. I like that better than the red one. I don't know what the red one is, honestly. There's something else I'm detecting here though. That's good. What was with the red one? Maybe it hated me. Maybe I just ate some soul of something horrible. Anyway, not bad. I bet probably very authentically Icelandic. And I don't hate it. I'd give it a six. It's not my favorite type of gummy. I don't know what the red one is. Green is good. Yellow is good. I give it a seven actually just for those because two thirds of it, I six and a half. 6.66 6 repeating. Because two thirds of it I like. The red one, not so much. Not bad though. Oh. Now, <laughs> this I just got because I thought it was funny. Um, this is a jerry can, which is a hilarious way of saying gas can, of gum. Gum? Bubble dust, sneaky bubble dust. Very sneaky. So my understanding is that this is probably, <clears throat> probably gum that's in more of a powdery form, which it is. I don't know how that makes gum better exactly. I imagine that this invention was probably a result of manufacturing leftovers. So when you have manufacturing of any kind of scale, you end up with a, a, an assembly line basically of various stages of food production. And when you have shaped candy, you end up with trimmings. No matter what, you probably end up with trimmings, leftover shavings, stuff like that. I wouldn't doubt that this is the trimmings at the bottom of the conveyor belts that they scooped in to a can. I might be wrong about that if I'm about to be sued, but uh, that's my conjecture. Just an opinion. The waste is bad. It's a good thing. Is this food? <laughs> Could you call this food? 
doesn't even say what, how many calories are in it. They don't have American food safety standards. <laughs> well, should I eat it then? Yeah. Mm. I might have found my new favorite candy. Never mind, no, I didn't. So when I eat gum, I eat it by the pound, basically. I just shove gum in, chew it for like two minutes, it's done. When the flavor is even starting to go, it's gone. This flavor does not last very long. The initial hit was nice because in its powdered form, it like really coated every area of my tongue and was able to like punch me in the fat, uh, in the fast. <laughs> punch me in the face with flavor. It's from the UK though. I know this because from the back it says it's from the UK. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rogue on my bet. The over under on this being Icelandic is, the odds are like a million to one. If I actually hit this, I can retire. So I'm gonna bet that's the Icelandic candy. Next candy. Oh, uh, this is a licorice roll of some kind. I don't know what the middle flavor is. Uh, So it does not unroll. It's not really an unrolling type. Why did I do that? It's not really an unrolling type, so don't think of it that way. The dark part is the licorice, and this is some kind of filling, so it does crumble to pieces. I've had this before, spoiler alert. It is good though, because I'm not a huge fan of licorice, but I do like licorice uh, to some extent, and this is actually a very sweet one. This is probably the sweetest of all these candies so far, even more than this, I would say. Actually, not that sweet. It's very salty. I have noticed that there's like definitely more salt in a lot of these than you would think. However, whether or not it's Icelandic, I can't really see anymore. I'm willing to bet it's not, unless it is. Is it? Not. I bet that's not. The, the thing is, it might come from any number of Nordic countries as well. Just because I can't read what's on the package on the floor doesn't mean that it's automatically Icelandic. Could be Swedish, could be Norwegian, could be Dutch. I don't know. Oh! Chocolade peppermint. Chocolate and peppermint. Okay, the packaging makes me think that it's, well, it's got an address on here. I won't look. The packaging makes me think it's local. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you, that does not look that appealing. And I don't know if I bite into this if it's gonna break my teeth. Don't bite into it. I'll try again. Mm -hmm. I was about to say it's not bad. <laughs> How do I unpack this? It has essence of chocolate. It's chocolate-esque. But if there's one thing I definitely don't do, is brush my teeth and then eat a bar of chocolate. I've done that before, actually, many times. That's why I'm so familiar with this experiment. That's what it tastes like, because there's mint, right? And then inside of it is chocolate. And I bet I'm not supposed to bite it, but I do not have the mental fortitude or the discipline to be able to hold back from that. So I'm not gonna be that person. And I'm not gonna change who I am for this candy, which is not from Iceland, I'm betting. Four. Five, four. Mm. Whoa. Let's give this camera a chance. This camera doesn't get enough love. Why is this camera here? Is it even doing anything? So this is 
Here Kisk Pepper from Pfizer. Too hot to handle. So, oh, there's a fire on it. So apparently it's spicy, but I've had spicy things before. I know it's been a while, but I do, I do, I open so terribly. Uh, so yeah, it's got a fire on it. It's charcoal black and it says too hot to handle. But much like Airheads, they kind of oversell the spice. So. Again, licorice. As far as heat though, maybe in the center. It's not spicy. There's something in the center of that. <clears throat> I can't I, I can't even place what it tastes like. It's licorice on the outside, and then as soon as I bit into it, there was something that was like semi-solid. It wasn't like gummy or anything, but it was like it wasn't liquid either. I don't know what it was. It just ruined everything. I don't know why, and I don't know how, but I was enjoying the licorice, and then I bit into it, and everything went to shit. What does it taste like? I can't describe it's what any word. it doesn't have a flavor really. It's just it just tasted like chemical. It was suddenly I bit into it and then chemical. There's no way there's 89 gram 72 grams of sugar in this. This does not taste sweet at all. Like it depends on if you consider licorice to be sweet because among the different candies, licorice does not rank high in terms of sweetness in my mind, unless you're eating a Twizzler and that's not real licorice anyway. Um, it's good, uh, but can't lie to ourselves. Just like this can't lie to itself about being too hot to handle. It's not the heat that's the problem. It's everything else about it. I hope that's nice, not Icelandic. I hope. I'm just gonna say that. I hope that's, maybe it is. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe it's more insulting to say, I hope it's not Icelandic. Nah. Oh! I've been looking forward to this one. So, uh, it's a whistle. It's a melody pop. And I got it just because I felt like it. And if you've never had one before, you're the same as me, because I've never had one before, so why the fuck am I so excited about this? That's like the whole... Oh, it's a slide too? Yeah. Oh. oh, and it's even got little note markings on it. Is there a world's best melody candy player? That's much better than I originally thought. I was just finding my melody legs. A smidge oozing out of the front of this. I don't know about that one, guys. Anyway. Flavor's all right. Novelty, great, nine out of 10. This is great. This is probably the bane of parents' existence, but pretty cool concept. I'm actually surprised that it has, you know, uh, note markings on it. That's pretty impressive. Uh, great attention to detail. It's a fun little trick. Horribly annoying for everyone around it, but uh, hey, I, I had fun. You should come up with a jingle that can then play between each candy. You're right. Good? 
Not Icelandic though, probably. Hmm. Are these nipples? Is that, is that nipples? They look like nipples to you. Kind of nipply. That's that's a, that's a straight up nipple right there. Do I bite the nipple off of it or what do I do? I, I'm more mature than I look. At first I thought licorice, but then the licorice was overridden by styrofoam, and I'm not exaggerating. That felt like I bit into a packing peanut, and it tasted like it too. I thought there would be a differentiation of flavor between this darker side and the pink side. I couldn't tell. Two for two sides and two nipples. Anyone that doesn't have exactly two nipples, you're special, and I love you. The frick? Super salt, hockey puck. Is that what it said? Hockey pulver. Apparently it's like a salt-based candy. So a lot of these flavors are based in like salty candies that aren't normally salty in my palate, and hockey pucks. It is, it, I, I don't know. <laughs> that is, that is, yeah, that's it. That, that sure does look like uh, it's just salt. Uh, oh. Would you like to try that? It's a purely unidentifiable flavor. <laughs> it's making my mouth water so bad. Yeah, and what is that? I don't know. Ingredients: soccer, ammonium chloride, lacrits pulver, S O C K E R. Ammonium chloride is an interesting ingredient. Don't usually uh, consume a lot of ammonium by choice. That's probably Icelandic. That's probably Icelandic. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Actually, I think I bought two of these because they looked really good and I wanted to eat one. And I think we had some already and I know it was good. So I needed a palate cleanser really badly because this has been kind of a trip of flavors that uh, I was not prepared for. There's that. It's round candy. I believe that it has some, it's like some candy coating shell over some delicious interior. It's like a chewy gummy interior, but the kind of gummy that just like melts away. Very sweet, a little tartness to it. This is right up my alley. I like, and I know it's bad for me, but I like that kind of dextrose based candy. And I know it's terrible for me because it crashes my blood sugar and it's probably terrible for your body. But God, I love it. I grew up with that stuff. Big chewy sweet tarts, whole things of pixie sticks. Oh, that was my jam. These are great. Highly recommend. What are they called? May oh mo may I am. Pinballs. Probably not Icelandic though, so I'm gonna put in the not pile. They're very good though. I would I would eat the whole bag. Nine and a half. Nine. So here's the thing. This is a superset Lacris bot here. Given that this has the word super salt, I really hope this doesn't taste like this. I really hope. Oh, what is this? It's got bulbous nodules. I like bulbous nodules. It just looks like a chocolate bar. I've been deceived before. It looks like a chocolate bar, doesn't it? It really does. Toast it up. 
So the thing is, I think I got all the chocolate and I didn't get whatever that is. Oh, it's just like some gummy thing. It's weird that it's in a chocolate bar, but only to me. It's like some gummy thing, yeah. It's my favorite kind, it's like chocolate covered gummy bears. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Oh, it's licorice. It's chocolate covered licorice. It's got little bits of licorice in it. I couldn't tell what it was because chocolate like such a strong flavor. I bet that's Icelandic. I mean, it could be any, like I know licorice is popular in like some Northern countries. I don't know which ones or why, but that they are. Opals, Citronu Oak Salt Lacris. Did this say salt lacris? No. Lacris bar. Salt licorice. Lacris means licorice. We're learning already. Open up for me. I'm rich. I'm willing to bet one is citrus, one is licorice. So there probably should be no surprise in this one. I am not surprised. That's salty licorice. A little saltier than the others though. It's gummy! They're not hard! I don't know why I'm excited about that. It tastes like you left a gummy out for a very long time. It tastes like a very still. This is actually not good. I'm liking it less by the second. I don't, I don't want that in me anymore. Try this one. You know what I just said? <laughs> well, it wasn't hard. That one was. No. Bam. There's something in that, that as it starts to phase change, you know, turn from a solid to a liquid. I, I can't. Ah! Jesus Christ. That's very um, not good. It actually grew repulsive. I think this is Icelandic, just judging by the box, I guess. Um, because I remember when I went to the museum, there were a lot of boxes of like, packaging from Iceland that they had. And it looked a lot like this. So like the color scheme, the the bright patterned colors. Exact box was there. It, it might have actually, that had no candy. yeah. And so uh, this might actually, no, but no way. Well, it, did, it had boxes. That doesn't mean there was candy there. Oh. Yeah, but this looks like actually one of the boxes that I saw in the Icelandic museum. So I'm gonna guess it's actually Icelandic. And probably anything with this color pattern. Maybe I'm gonna determine if the ones were chewy and the ones were no, it's just they're both rock hard, but they I bit into that one sooner than the other one because I let that soak in a little longer. It did grow softer as the saliva got in there. I, I hope this is just mint. I really hope that's just mint. I've been burned so many times in the course of this video on things I think I'm going to like and I don't. Please. No, no, I don't need them. I don't need them. I got this. It's all a matter of technique, right? It was all a matter of technique. So far so good. No unsuspecting flavors. Yeah. I think it's just, I think it's just mint. I think it's just what it, exactly what it looks like. Not the sweetest mint I've ever had, but it's good. I like it. Again, the packaging suggests to me that it might have been local, but because I don't think that was, I'm gonna boil, I'm gonna hedge my bets. I'm gonna hedge my bets. Well, actually no, because this is not native to Iceland. This concept, I believe, would be anywhere but Iceland, right? That must be, right? The, the idea of this red, white, striped kind of minty candy, probably not from Iceland. I just had a thought, I remembered something from the Icelandic museum. Y'all think I don't remember anything or learn anything? 
I remember this. They had weird packaging there. How weird? In this triangular pinched at op opposing sides. So you'll notice that this one is pinched from the vertical and then the other side is pinched horizontally, which creates this funky like texture to this. I saw a lot in the wax paper packaging, the cartons in the museum as well. It looked like that and it stood out to me. That and that haunted mask. Don't. It's horrible. Anyway, I think it's Icelandic. I'm gonna put it in Iceland. You want something you're gonna like or probably not like? I don't know. I don't know anymore. You bought it all. I know. Supporting a local business. All right, cat. Cat, there's no cats in Iceland. We've already figured that out. It looks like licorice. Uh, sorry, I was a little eager. So, uh, looks like licorice. It's Jolflar Filter Lacris Med Kraft Mikili Salmia Kud. Varud Sterk. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That is the single saltiest thing I have ever eaten. I'm not joking. Something, I don't know if that's just salt, but it like was really hitting the salt receptors. I love salt. Let me, I'm just saying that to get a baseline of how salty this tasted and how shockingly salty. And let me tell you how much salt I eat. When I go to the movie theater, I ask them to put the flavicol that they have, the orange salt that they have into a separate cup so I can dip my popcorn individually into that cup of salt. This is saltier than that. And that's literally just salt. Well, and some flavor chemicals. Amy, just be careful. Did you eat the whole thing? No. She's going like this. I know, right? That- How is that possible? I don't know, right? It's the saltiest thing I've oh ever tasted. I know. No, you could grind a salt shaker into my mouth and it wouldn't be that bad. It, exactly, exactly. You can eat literal salt, which oh, I do. How I did. did you eat a whole piece of that? Oh my God. How'd you eat a whole bag of this? <coughs> you could grind salt into your palm, a thing I do regularly, and lick it straight. It would not be as salty as that. It's not just the coating. It's the filling as well is also extremely salty. And again, ammonium chloride, which is, it's a salt. Sodium chloride is a salt, potassium chloride is salt, ammonium chloride is probably what that is, which is a different type of salt. Salt refers to many different things. I hope that's good for me. Icelandic, for sure. <laughs> oh, is this double gum? It's a palate cleanser. Thank you so much, Amy, for balancing it all up, because this is what I need right now. Is this just liquid gum? Going on there. No safety seal? No safety seal. No, actually, that is concerning. Actually, it didn't even twist off. This just. This was in a candy shop that a lot of people go in and out of. Um, and I'm not saying like there's something horrible put in here, but the fact that this was not sealed, kind of leaking, and um, it's. Why is it, why is it two different? I'm not gonna eat this. And it's for reasons of food safety. There's a very specific reason why food is, you know, in sealed containers and bags and stuff like that. Um, and it's for both. Give it a squeeze though. <sighs> that it, I'm also not gonna eat it because all this is making me think is this is a tube of pre-chewed gum. And maybe this was sealed. There's something in here that says twist and maybe that is the seal and it looks like that. But 
I don't know that I twisted it. I didn't hear any clicks. I didn't hear any breaking plastic. I don't trust that. And I try not to eat things I don't trust. Not too often. Uh, this is definitely not Icelandic. No palate cleanser for me. It's fine. Risa Bapuristur. So, yeah, it's uh, proudly made in Iceland. That could just be a marketing thing. It looks like a candy bar. Just a regular chocolate bar, probably has some wafer kind of crisps inside. Please be a wafer crisp. Please. No, it's like some nougat, caramel. No, it's not. It's licorice. No. Now there is some kind of nougaty caramel in there. But there's also licorice. There's three things in here. Because like a three's all over it. Chocolate, caramel, and licorice. Proudly made in Iceland. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid because it looks a lot like these, but it might not be. Can't judge a book by its cover. And that's what that cover looks like. You wanna know what it is? Do you really wanna know what it is? Write in the comments if you think you know what this is. Hey, but you know what this is? Salty no, it's candy coated licorice. It's actually pretty okay. I like it, but it's just like so much licorice. I, I, I don't mind this, this is pretty good. I know I didn't give a rating for all these, but you can make up your own rating and then I can tell you how wrong you were when you guessed it. I don't know, not bad. If I was in a mood for a lot of licorice, go to Iceland. I know I said that one wasn't Icelandic. I'm also gonna say that this one is not Icelandic. Just because I already hedged my bet with the split vote on the other thing. Oh boy, it's the same company. So these are Turkish pepper, hot and sour. Again, that said hot, and it wasn't hot. I don't even know what it was. This says sour. I don't know what that means, but they got a flame on them and they look a lot like these. These are the new ones. This is the dark one. Same shape, different colors. Maybe fruity. Let's try the blue one. I usually like the blues or blue raspberry. I have good news. It is not blue licorice. I have bad news. It's full of the same thing that that one was. Oh. I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are, but you're not hot. What do you mean hot? The outside was like maybe a little tart. I wouldn't call it sour, but at least it was in the same field. What are you? What What is in you? I'm not, I can't even crack it open. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I wish I did. I wish I did. Um, but it's just like, it's an unidentifiable flavor. I don't know what it is. It's not hot. So there's no heat about it. And there's flames. There's flames on the candy. I have no idea what they're talking about. It doesn't feel like it's actually even close to what the packaging is trying to say. The only danger is there is that there's a flavor in there that just like tastes repulsive. I don't know if it's just me. Probably not. Probably not me. It's Iceland. Next. Do you think Chica wants candy? No. Hi, what's the name she of can't have candy. Where's Mark? Where's Mark? Chica, wiggle your no leg body over here. Come here, girl. Hi. Are you a good girl? You a good girl? You a very good girl? What's up here? She's 
Is it candy? Because she just went to the dentist. Yeah, you just went to the dentist. You can't have candy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, go play. Yeah, she's there. Her new legs are coming in nicely. I'm excited about these. Ooh, this is a thing. Frisia Sour UFO Tongue Painter. Have you ever had one of these? I think, like it looks familiar, but it feels like a piece of styrofoam. I don't know when I would have had this, but it looks familiar. The two sides make me afraid because of the combo flavor thing going on here. Probably anything that has like the stripe pattern. I've noticed like a theme. If I look at these two piles, there's definitely a theme of like stripes going on here. Except for this. <laughs> Except for my cherry can of bubble gum powder. I think I think we gotta take a little intermission. Get out, Sally. This next one, I think we need a drink for. And watch. Oh, oh uh, uh, uh. Oh God. <laughs> Paint my tongue. Tastes like styrofoam. Has something sour in the in the middle that actually is sour. Not my favorite though. I'm gonna guess not Icelandic. Edit, uh, watch the editing prowess of Lixian as he materializes a drink right. You said I needed a drink. Am I Lixian? No, you said I needed a drink. Yeah, I, you needed a drink. I, thought, I thought you were gonna, you know. What do you want? I don't know. Do I think we just have. With a, this? I think all we have is a light beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so this is a uh, Lacris Zoror. <laughs> Apollo Lacris. Uh, uh, it's a licorice straw, and you're supposed to drink through it. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a straw of licorice, which, if you've ever used a red vine to drink something, this is similar to what that probably is. However, much, much firmer. Now watch the editing prowess of Lixian as he makes a drink materialize here. <gasps> that milk? No, give me the athletic light. Hey, maybe this will come out in time. Be perfect sponsorship for that. Uh All right. <laughs> wow, that was something special. Just in case this video actually is sponsored in the right moment for this to occur, this video. This is not real beer. Well, define real. It's non alcoholic beer. I'm not gonna die if I drink this. It's totally fine. Probably not the perfect combo for this licorice straw, but hey, YOLO. Oh, fuck. But hey! Beep beep poo poo. Uh, but hey! It's just a theory. A food theory! Hi, Pup. You want some <laughs> beer? Yeah, I don't know if this is the right thing for this, but it is, um... It's what I have, so. Honestly, I can't even taste the licorice. <laughs> it just tastes like I'm drinking beer through a straw, which is a very strange thing. Yeah, I can't really taste anything besides the beer. So you don't get some love, Cameron. Yeah, how are you doing? You keeping up there? You're doing a great job. I'm really proud of you for sticking in there. I know we don't use all of your shots. Probably don't use much of anything, but hey. I shouldn't know. Glad you're there. You're really coming in clutch for the shots that's necessary. <laughs> but as far as like the straw itself goes, <laughs> uh, 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 
I mean, it's licorice. It's extremely hard, like rock solid licorice. I'd rather eat this candy coated piece of licorice if I wanted licorice. I don't think it added too much to the flavor of this that I was drinking, but I could beat the shit out of this can with this licorice. Oh, frick. Anyway, True Blue Iceland. Last one. Oh my God. Would you look at that? If that isn't literally the most expensive thing I saw in the store, you know me, big dick money bags. I think this is actually made in Iceland. Please. Oh no. No, it's not that I don't think it's not made in Iceland. I just read what actually was in it because it looks just like chocolate. You wanna know what it is? You wanna know what it is? You wanna know what I paid like 50 bucks for a jar of? That is fantastic. It is chocolate covered licorice. Don't get me wrong, but of all the licorice here I've had, that's amazing. The licorice isn't hard like traditional. It's not hard like this, but it's not hard even like that. It's like caramel, like it's soft and it's chewy. It's, it's really good. That's not a joke. There's nothing about this that I'm exaggerating. And maybe it's just because I've run this gauntlet of licorice. That's really good because the chocolate actually is complementing the texture of the licorice. It's working together. It's actually like combining into something. I don't know what the powder is on the outside. It might just be like chocolate dust or something like that. I can't really taste it. Or if, it, if I am tasting it, I can't identify it. Everything kind of blends together when you chew it. Very good. That's really good. Uh, yeah, so, um... Favorite? Least favorite? Oh, um... Well, I mean, actually, unironically, this is my favorite. Hey, stop stealing the show. Maybe this should have been that camera, you know? Maybe this should have been for over there. So well, we it's had... a little late for that. No, 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 no. So we'll just keep that over there. All right, so uh, to close this video out, I would say this is my favorite. Least favorite was this salty hell. This was... So shocking, but I will give it credit. I have never felt that an intensity of sensation from flavor alone. It was like someone put a hot brand on my tongue and it was not fun. Amy went for it again. I'm gonna choose to do this delightful chocolate covered licorice. I really like this, but that's just because it's right up my alley. The chocolate bar at the beginning here was honestly a great start. I hesitate to say it went all downhill from there, but it was just a good, very good bar. This, like, same as that, just ammonium chloride. I'm not really about that. Everything else was pretty good. It just depends on how much you like licorice. If you grew up eating nothing but licorice, which is not really a staple of American candies. And again, Twizzler and even Red Vine is not true licorice. Red Vine has more licorice flavor, but even so, it's like, unless you grew up with it, you probably wouldn't like it as much. But a lot of these, if you grew up with it, you'd be like, hell yeah, give me all of it. This is fantastic. Crafted by Atchara. Atchara. Thank you, Iceland. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Henry. And thank you, Spencer. Thank you, Chica. Thank you, Amy. Thank you to the shop where I got this candy. I can't remember the name. Have a lovely day. And as always, I will see you in the next video.